Hey YouTube Texas Blades here. We got another review for you today. Uh, this one's going to be on the Becker BK7. Got a couple of specs on it. I didn't go uh, do a whole lot of research on it. Uh, I didn't even look at the box actually whenever uh, my nephew opened it. This is my nephew's knife. Uh, I did get to play with it a little bit and uh, kind of work with it and see what it was ha capable of. I didn't do a test video with it but eventually we'll get one of those out too. Uh, overall length on this is 12 and 7 eighths of an inch. Uh, the blade is 7 inch. It's a 7 inch blade, full tang, weighs 12 ounces. Uh, the blade is 3 16 inch thick, 1095 Crovane steel blade, clip point, uh, glass fiber filled nylon handle. It has a 20 degree edge on it. It's just a regular nylon sheath and the knife itself is made in America. Although the uh, sheath, I believe, is made in China, and I think the handles are actually uh, made in Sweden. Uh, don't have anything really on the sheath to say. It's got a little bit of molly webbing on the back of it. Got your little molly attachments. Uh, nice, nice size belt loop. And it is, does have a button and Velcro, so you can... Uh, take it off your belt without actually removing your belt which is a big plus for me it's not a bad sheath uh, it's got a little pocket up front here uh, you could put a smaller blade in there my nephew has went and put a uh, UST I believe this is the strike force uh, it's either the strike force or the spark force I get the two mixed up not sure what this coating is uh, but it's tough. You can see we've been using it a little bit on some wood. Uh, I've done a little bit of chopping with it. It is uh, it's a heavy blade. It's not lightweight. Uh, it's not super heavy. Not too heavy. We'll say that. Uh, it's not too heavy, but it's just just enough weight to be a good chopper. Excuse me. Um, the handle itself I could see this getting pretty slick uh, with some sweat, anything like that. If it got if it got any kind of oil on it, you'd be screwed. Uh, you would have to clean it off, definitely. It's not a bad handle. Uh, I like the way it feels in the hand. Doesn't feel bad. Uh, the thumb ramp, I didn't get to use it at all, but that jimping there is uh, very aggressive. I don't know. I uh, kind of wish there was a finger choil somewhere up in here so you could choke up on the blade without, you know, slicing your finger off. Uh, there's a lanyard hole on it so you could attach a lanyard to it. The cool thing about these knives is they're really um, upgradable. You can, you know, there's a lot of sheath makers out there that make sheaths for them. Um, the handles are replaceable. You can see there. And a lot of different companies make handle scales for these knives as well. Uh, apparently it's a big uh, fad now. Olean, New York, USA. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are picking up these K-Bar uh, Becker knives. Uh, the BK9, the BK7. Uh, I'm sure there's more out there. I know I wanted the, uh, the uh, what is it, the tack tool that they make. I forget what it is. BK something. Uh, there's another number out there for it. I'm not sure what it is. And we'll probably pick one of those up and show it over here. Uh, like I said, we'll try to get some test videos in with this. I just want to do a quick overview on it, tell you the specs, and uh, kind of tell you what I thought about it. And like I said, so far it's a great knife. Uh, good chopper nice handle besides you know you might want to wrap that with something's all I'm saying um, I like rubberized handles just a little bit better than these uh, plastic handles gives you more grip on it uh, like I said you can wrap it you can change these scales out uh, they you know a lot of different companies are making scales for them and stuff now so uh, custom sheaths you name it cost on this I want to say it was right around 70 bucks uh, I ordered it for him off Amazon and I cannot remember. It was either 70 or 80, somewhere in there. Uh, so it's not a cheap knife. Um, it is considered a tactical blade. It would be more of a combat knife than uh, 
I wouldn't consider it like a camp knife or anything like that. So I really don't have a use for something like this, but you know, teach his own. You know, you could use it for whatever you wanted to use it for, and of course you could always uh, do different things to it and alter it to fit your purposes, you know. So like I said, we'll try to get a test video in with this one. Uh, it may be a while. I'm going to let him beat it up a little bit before I beat it up at all. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.